something else with Ovation that we really uh, have found that musicians like about our guitars is the fact that they're roadworthy. The Ovation guitars, because of their construction, are pretty roadworthy, and it takes a lot to really knock them out of whack. We realize the condition that the guitar can arrive at a customer in. After it's been, uh, you know, in an airplane or wherever and going from one continent to another. Normally what we'll do is we'll take the whole finished unit and we will heat it up and we'll freeze it. Anytime we make any kind of a change with Ovation, whether it's a little finish uh, chemical change or an adhesive, it goes through a whole series of environmental tests. The heat test is supposed to mimic what it would be if you left it in the trunk of your car, which gets up to about 150 degrees or so. And we will leave it in there for like a whole day, up to 24 hours. We will also freeze it. And what we will do is we'll bring it into a big freezer and we'll put the whole unit in there and we will bring it down by 20 degrees at a time to, I believe, 20 below zero, sometimes 40 below zero, depending on, on what it is we're, we're, we're looking at. From there, it'll go into a humidity chamber, and for another 24 hours, it's going to be in about 100% relative humidity. We're looking at moisture content when we do that also, and moisture content can cause the top to crack or to sink, even to go up too much and there's your action, your action's gone. So yeah, we do consider what's going to happen on the stage, especially on the hot lights. I brought uh, a very high-end electric guitar down to Brazil in the winter time in Connecticut and that is summer in Brazil and that uh, the electric is completely ruined and this guitar just took it all in stride. You're running around the stage, you're going to get water throwing on you, you're going to bump into the other eight guys in your band, it's going to tip over on the stage. I mean, we don't recommend people abuse your ovation, but they can take a little bit more than most typical acoustic guitars. It's super durable. I mean, obviously at the back, the carbon fiber takes a beat and you could drop it downstairs and, you know, it bounces right back. You had to be so careful with a, you know, regular guitar with it. And with these things, man, you can, you know, you can go out and use it for a baseball bat. <laughs> it wouldn't hurt it. Well, we never played baseball with our guitars. No, but... we played hockey. <laughs> hockey. <stuff>. Hockey. Yeah. <laughs> this guitar actually was thrown uh, quite aggressively by somebody that hated me at that point, and uh, it still it still plays. Durability. Yeah, I took this to uh, my gunsmith's indoor target range and put 33 rounds of 45 caliber through it. Slipped out of tune just a little bit. But uh, it played, the bridge is on, the top isn't peeling off, the neck is straight. Uh, we know they're not bulletproof, but... Uh. I have some customers that have some guitars that are 30 years old, 40 years old, and they're still like the day they were built. I've taken them on the road, I've taken them to Europe and uh, in Asia. I've never had an issue. Uh, at all, with, even with neck movement or anything like that. As far as durability goes, I mean, it's probably the most durable guitar on the market. It has been all around in the beach and on the water and uh, in Brazil and uh, down in Key West and beat up and it always has played perfectly. Pulling all the technology that we have and all the information we have together into these new products is part of what's going to make them uh, that much better. Ovation. It's the shape.